Today I'm going to show you how to use the digital financial planner from theworklifeshop.com. It's available in two colors, vibrant and black, and in today's demo we'll be using the black planner. Today's video won't be technical in nature, but more of a tutorial on how to make the most of each page since it is a guided planner. For technical help, you can check out our instructions and installation guide in the description box below or email info at theworklife.com and we'd be happy to help you troubleshoot any technical issues you might be experiencing. In today's demo, I'll be using the planners on an iPad Pro 11 inch on GoodNotes 5. The planners are compatible with other tablets, devices, and note-taking apps as well, and for more help on that, you can check out the installation guide or email us. Now, let's get started. Now that I've got the planner open here, I'm just going to show you how you can link to the different sections in the planner. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you're in read-only mode. That's the only way the links are going to work when you're using it on GoodNotes, for example. So just turn this functionality on to get the links working in both the dashboard as well as the side panel view. So the first section of this planner is all about visioning what you want your financial life to look like. So there's a page here for your vision board, and this is where you want to stop and think, what you want your financial future to look like. So this is where you can, you know, pull together pictures, quotes, and create that ultimate vision board so that every time you look at it, you're reminded of what you want your finances to look like. The next section is a money reflection sheet. So this is where you can assess what your current relationship with money looks like and where you want that to change. So you can assess your current relationship with money, your feelings towards it, create a new money mantra, and so much more. Then we've got a section for your wish list. So anything that you've thought about purchasing or that you've been wanting to purchase, you can just log here and keep track of all of it in one spot. Then the next few pages are for your financial goals. So this is where you want to pick one to three goals that you have for yourself, probably align to your vision board. And the next few pages are specific templates to help you create an action plan to achieve those goals. Each template is numbered to align with the goals from the previous page. So think of this as your dashboard view and then your action plan following it. And then we've also got a progress tracker, again, aligned to each of those goals. Think of this as just a fun and visual way to keep track of your goals, especially when it comes to your finances. It's likely something you can quantify and you know, denominate into percentages. So it's a good way to just break it down and see how well you're progressing. So this next section here, we're getting a bit more tactical. It's where we're gonna start logging those bills, expenses, budgets, etc. So this sheet here is our yearly budget tracker. It's where you're gonna start writing down your expected versus actual budgets across the year as a whole. This next sheet here, we're doing something similar, but we're actually going a bit more granular because we're gonna break it down month by month. So the thing with these sheets you have to know is that once you fill it in, you can duplicate it. So it's not just a matter of filling it at once and then having to erase it. If you wanna keep it for every single month, what you can do is just go to this section here, duplicate the page, and then basically keep creating your budgets month over month as the year goes on. And then following the monthly budget pages, what we have is a fun spending sheet. It's another budget tracker to just keep track of all of the different ways that you're spending money in a fun way, things you want but don't necessarily need, good way to assess if it was worth it. And then we've got a bill tracker. So this is where you can list out all the bills, the due dates, whether or not they've been paid, and so on and so forth. And then this page here is a savings growth tracker. So if you have a goal you're trying to hit, whether it's an emergency savings fund or a vacation fund, you write out your goal and then keep track month over month. This next page here is a debt-free tracker. So this is where you wanna just write out the lender, how much you owe, what your goal payoff date is, whether or not you've paid it off. Again, another tracker. And then here we are now entering into cash flow. So this is section three of the planner. We're moving on to a different part. And this is where we're gonna start tracking things like income growth. So you can write down either month over month, the year over year, what your income was and how much it grew by. And then you can do the same thing for your net worth. So this worksheet is intended to help you track your assets, your liabilities, and calculate your total net worth for a certain point in time. And then this net worth tracker here, you just take that net worth and then log it in, and you can then keep track of your net worth and its growth month over month or year over year. This here is the 365 day review. So you don't have to start it on January 1st. You can really start at any time of the year. And the objective here is to really just keep track of these important metrics and then come back and review it 365 days later and understand how far you've come. 
This next section is made up of a few money challenges that we put together for you guys. So of course they're totally optional, but just a fun way to kind of help better your finances. So we've got the $1,000 save challenge. We've got a reading challenge where you read at least four personal finance books, for example. And then we've also got a section for changing your money mindset. So any limiting beliefs you have, countering it with a positive affirmation. These are just fun and helpful ways to change your relationship with money. This next section here is dedicated to resources. So this is where you wanna log all of your accounts, for example, all of those financial accounts you might have at different institutions. This could just be your one cheat sheet to understand where all of that is. And then things like financial books that you wanna read. This is where you can write down the title, the author, whether you read it, what you would rate it, as well as financial podcasts you wanna to listen to or you are currently listening to. And then the final section of this planner is similar to all of our other planners where we have a freehand note section. So if you want to just jot down anything, you can always come back here and write out your notes. And as mentioned, today's planner demo was in the black planner, but this is what the vibrant planner looks like in case you are interested. It is set up exactly the same as the planner that I just walked through. Same section, same formatting, all of that. It's just the coloring, of course, is more vibrant and brighter compared to the neutral black. 